Welcome back to another beautiful morning here on Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 120, number 120. Um, today we're continuing with the, um, the rebar going in for the uh, archways for the uh, front porch. Um, the carpenter is back also, uh, continuing to place the fiber cement boards uh, around the face of the building. And our welders are here uh, continuing with the um, hidden gutter support brackets. Uh, they're working their way around. They're starting here on the north face today. And they're going to go down and ho hopefully turn uh, to the back, back of the house and continue around the rest of the way. Um, we're also continuing plaster coating in the garage area. A uh, couple of different sections in there that are getting plaster coated. And I have one carpenter that's over in the master suite that's putting in the doorway for the uh, for the master bath bedroom. Be able to enter in from the hallway to the master bedroom. So that's uh, <clears throat> what we've got going on today. Um, let me go ahead and walk you around and show you individually what everybody is doing. Uh, so let's get started. Tell you what, I'm happy to see all this sun out here, but man, is it humid. Um, so, continuing, um, you see Mr. Uh, Jojo over here at the uh, front porch. He's actually got a drill, so they're drilling up into the uh, concrete beam that they had poured, and they're putting in the additional rebar that's gonna be needed to support the small archway that they're adding onto it. And they're working that for all three sides, so we'll have a, uh, a complete look to it. And then uh, Mr. Allen here is our uh, carpenter that's working on the fiber cement board, going the rest of the way up on the Jack and Jill bath section here. Um, the engineer is going to order the additional uh, stone cladding that he needs. Um, they've got some down here, but they're going to order some more and they're going to uh, stone the uh, wall around the bay window. So the bay window itself is going to have this uh, fiber cement board or paint. I'm not sure which yet, uh, but the rest of the wall will have the st same stone cladding that it does over here for bedroom three. <clears throat> now up here on the uh, in the gutters. <laughs> We're gonna be in the gutter today. So these guys are working their way down the uh, gutter supports, uh, making sure they're all the right size, right locations, and uh, got the right pitch coming across the top so that the uh, water drains perfectly into those uh, gutters. Um, we are looking to have the, uh, they call them a yero, the uh, tinsmith uh, will be out sometime this week uh, to measure all of the roof space uh, so that they can know exactly how much of the uh, metal that they need to order uh, for that uh, for the roof material <clears throat> now then back over here into the garage area these guys are continuing to make mortar and doing lots of plaster coat uh, so we've got mr. Marvin over here working this section of the uh, garage area that little storage area uh, storage area tool section that's going to be all over there um, Mr. Carlito here is adding in the wall um, that is going to help with the uh, it's going to hold the garage door opener uh, garage door opener you can't ha uh, for the garage door you can't have a, a flat wall it doesn't work right um, so the the bracket for it that holds the garage door that's going to come up it's American style garage door um, needs to have a place to put the bracket on the front so we're adding in that additional wall space here and attaching it to the um, to the wall of the uh, garage bedroom so that'll that'll work see this side no problem we had the big column right here uh, this side uh, we needed to add that in um, so uh, mr. Jericho and crew are here in the back continuing with the plaster coating on that section of wall coming around inside of the garage bedroom mr. Ben is continuing with this section here as well 
I believe that should be the last wall inside of the garage bedroom. Um, over on the um, far side of the lot, there, uh, Mr. Joel is continuing to put in the uh, last couple courses of hollow block uh, for the um, top of the perimeter fence and uh, starting to board up the uh, posts. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. They're boarding, sorry, they are boarding up the uh, posts uh, so that they can pour concrete in this a little later today. So using the old plumb bob, make sure everything's uh, level, plumb, square, all the above. Okay, so they'll pour that later this afternoon. Now then, through the window, you can probably see Mr. Romy right over here. He's starting to put in the hollow block wall that's going to go above the uh, master bedroom door. So he's finishing up the uh, finishing up putting in the additional mortar that's required to fill in that space of the the door frame, and then he's going to start stacking blocks, or laying blocks on top of that. And so that's. Uh, Pretty much where most everybody's at this morning we do have uh, one or two additional people up in the media room that are removing scaffolding uh, so that they can start plaster coating up there as well, well we're going to start off this afternoon at post lunch with a little more uh, cement being delivered another hundred bags hey let's go take a look around the front of the house All right, so these guys are still working the uh, the forms. Looks like they poured the cotton, they put the concrete and the cement into the first archway, first two archways. So we've got this one. It's still kind of rough on the front because they are going to uh, redo all of this front as well. It's going to get the same plaster coat type effect or or um, stone coating. Uh, we'll have to check with the engineer again. I don't remember off the top of my head how that's supposed to look. And then they're working that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a walk inside. The doorway has been completed for the master all the way up to the top on the wall. So that's, uh, that's nice. Now they're gonna, that'll be another plaster coat job whenever they start working this area here. They'll do both sides of that. <coughs> and they were still doing lots of plaster coat out in the garage area. Jericho is working on the uh, fine finish on it, do the smooth coat. So when they come through, they're going to skim coat it and paint. Um, over here around the corner, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Marvin is working on the same thing. And I believe they finished the section that was remaining in the uh garage bat garage bedroom there's mr ben poke his head out so he's still working it as well um let's see let me go ahead and I'll, I'll come around the other way let's do that okay so in here we're continuing to work this wall mr Marvin is working this wall. One of our guys has been working the extension of this wall here. So they're still working on it. And looks like Mr. Ben ran out of mortar, so he's he's in here doing the rough finish. Once he gets that all smoothed out, we'll come back and do a fine the fine finish where it'll end up like this all right i believe that's where everybody's at up on top we are 
getting ready to do the hollow block extension for the uh, side walls of the box window on the dormer. So that's going to come out. So they've already done this side. He's getting set to get ready to do this side. And our welders are continuing to work the uh, hidden gutter support brackets. They've already completed the north side, so now they're turning and coming down. We're going to catch all of this west side here. All this area. And then they'll end up back over here where they started. So when they get back to this section, they're done with the hidden gutter support. Well, I'm going to take a walk around here at the close to the end of the day. Um, these guys are continuing to work the corner post. This is going to be the pedestal for the electrical here on the on the column or on the the pole is going to come down onto this pedestal at a later point so they're working the rebar making sure that it's going to be tall enough for what they need to do with it um, over on the other side i'll show you that in a little bit but they're uh pour, starting to pour the um the tops of the uh column fence posts up here um mr joseph has been working these um hidden gutter supports uh, so the whole north face here is already done uh, if you can see you can pretty much look down they're done with that side um, now they're gonna be they've turned and start working this way so when they they get the the west side complete here uh, the uh, the Iron Man or the Tim Smith guy will come back and they're gonna start measuring all of this uh, roof for the uh, roofing material so he'll, he'll actually be back out tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead and take a look inside momentarily. Um, so these guys have been in here and working the uh, plaster coat pretty much all day. Um, so they're trying to get this corner just right. Um, the foreman came over and worked on it a little bit, made sure that the, the corner's good. And there's some smooth coat in the bottom half on both of these. And I believe Mr. Ben has finished with the inside of the, um, yeah, he's finished with the inside of the garage bedroom. So the inside of the garage bedroom is done. You want to call it a maid's room, garage bedroom, mother-in-law's quarters. Just don't call them in late for dinner. So those, these three rooms here, um, are all completed uh, with plaster coating this wall is done with plaster coating um, so I'm expecting probably tomorrow they're gonna start on this guy and maybe on this side we'll have to wait and see on that tomorrow let's go see where they're uh, pouring the concrete at they were working the concrete over here on the other side of the, the yard <clears throat> so we got concrete up here so that's topped off and they've been rodding and tamping it as they go so the next one we're going to get started here this one here inside the the bunkhouse so they're going to finish pouring that and then they'll be done for the day it's already almost 4 30 so they're going to finish with that with a little bit of concrete they have left okay let's go ahead and walk around the front of the house okay here on the front they put a cap on this side of it uh, what they got now they got, they're going to pull off the um, underside where they put in the um, mortar earlier So where he put this piece here, this has already got the, it's still got the form on it. And then the next thing they're going to do tomorrow is once these dry up, they'll pull these forms off and then just start uh, working the, the concrete and the plaster mat, uh, up on this one. Uh, make sure it's all going to hold. And they're going to do that on all three sides. So this side here actually gets to start tomorrow the same as these two did. So they're working the uh, the arches here in the, the front doorway. 
over here on the side, Mr. Mr. Allen is continuing to work the um, fiber cement board. Let's go cheat and look through the look through the window here, see what he's been working on. So yeah, cheating from the backside. He's been working these corners, putting up the uh, fiber cement board wall cladding. All right. That's it for the inside. All right, guys, it's yabba dabba do time. Time to stick it with a fork. This one's done. Um, today, primary thing that got completed today was the gutter. We had a day in the gutter here. Uh, the whole north side of the building has the uh, gutter supports completed. So the hidden gutter supports are done on that side. Uh, they have turned the corner and started working on the back side of the, the house on the west side. Um, here on the front, the um, Carpenters has been uh, continuing to work on the wall cladding uh, here with the fiber cement board, as well as they're working the uh, arches on the uh, front entrance here. Uh, they're going to continue working those tomorrow. Um, pretty slow day otherwise. Uh, a, lot of a lot of plaster coat going on in the garage area. So they're still continuing to work the plaster coat and they'll work that a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, we did get some uh, concrete done on one of the fence posts on the south side and uh, one of them on the, uh, the northwest side, uh, northwest corner there where the, uh, the post is going, the pedestal for the uh, power. So um, if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here on the side and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow for build day number 121 and the measurement of the uh, roof line, have a great afternoon and God bless. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.